everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm actually gonna go on a SantaCon parade. And I decided that I wanted to be a reindeer and so I thought I would just film my make transformation. Oh, it's the light. Like, what is this? Okay. <laughs> so this is the first time I've ever done these like little makeup things. I feel like people usually face the camera to them and not the camera to the mirror, if that makes sense. So I'm not really sure if it's in focus. Hopefully it is. So let's get started. And tear a few things down, but that's the worst that it would get. I'm gonna start out with priming out my face first. I find that priming my face, especially when I'm doing very like Halloween or event makeup like this, um, priming my face when I'm doing a lot of makeup really keeps it very flat and matte. I then took a fluffy brush and then added kind of a normal skin color. You can see it doesn't really do much, but I kind of use it as a primer. Um, I did use my Morphe palettes for this whole tutorial. I took this little white color on my Morphe palette and put it all over my eyelid, all the way up to my eyebrow. As you can see, I kind of just put it all over the place without much, you know, thought into it. I just wanted the white to kind of make the colors pop. I then took this kind of light brown color and with a precision brush, I put it on my eyebrows and then brought that same color down my nose and totally blocking the camera with my Morphe palette that you'll see how I actually kind of just take it down to the bridge of my nose. took this white cream color and put it all over my nose as well as, as my forehead. I put it under my eyes as well and this is kind of like the basic prime area. What I'm really creating here is almost like a mask and then I just blended, blended, blended. And when our time is done We'll go back on the run, do whatever we like. Bad guy, bad, we're in trouble now. Oh, so, so, so they say. I used a sponge to actually make the blending process a little bit easier since clearly my finger wasn't doing the trick here. I then took a darker, that same brown, sorry, that I used before and kind of outlined the bridge of my nose and added some shading. I'm so sorry that it's blurring. I think you guys could probably kind of figure out what I'm doing. I literally just took the outline and then shaded my nose some more. I then took my Bobbi Brown bronzer and then added it at the very edges of my cheeks. I later actually put it all over my face, but it kind of gives it more of a matte brown. I then took my Stila eyeliner and added my nose. Again, I kind of went too close to the mirror and it's a little bit blurry, but you get the idea. This Stila eyeliner is waterproof and my nose and lips didn't go anywhere all night. I then took from this little basic palette that I have lying around just the black and added the line between my nose to my lips connecting them. I didn't use the Stila because I didn't want it to be so harsh. I just kind of want it to be a little bit more dusty. A white liquid eyeliner again I'm sorry that it's so blurry but I literally just put a line on the bottom of my eyes as you can see and then I did the other side as well just to make the eyes look more dough like and really pop I then 
then took the same brown that I used at the bridge of my nose and added a line on the bottom, really kind of to make it more obvious that there was a white line there and really make it more pop. And I took that same brown and then added it to the crease of my eyes, really to give it the most emphasis there. I then took my Bobbi Brown once again and added it at the top of my eyelids um, where my eyebrows are just to make them look way bigger. I forgot to hit record but I actually put um, the same Stila eyeliner on my eyes and did kind of like a wing eyeliner to make it look more feminine. I added the Bobbi Brown all over my face trying to create it more, a little bit more matte and then added little dots with the same liquid that I used to make the white mask in the first place. And I just use the back of my brush. My husband comes in and says, hey. It was just a crush, but what a nature was. You and I were out too late. I then added fake eyelashes, and I gotta say, I am not a pro at eyelashes, and every time I do them, I get so messy. I then added some chopstick at the bottom of my lips because, woo, that Stila eyeliner really makes my lips feel super dry. I added my MAC pinky, lovely, kind of pretty lip color, and that was the end of my look. Thanks guys so much for watching, I'll see you next week.